Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Recently, the Flames of the Nether DLC got released, which brought us some very awesome new unique weapons and armor. Today, I'll be showcasing the mechanized saw blade. It cuts your life into pieces. In this video, I will show you where to get it, and if you already found one, show you my tips and tricks regarding enchantments to get the best out of this new unique item for your build. So guys, let's get right to it. The Mechanized Saw Blade. This is a pretty funky, very fast hitting weapon, which is part of the Broken Saw Blade family, which you will be able to find on both the Crimson Forest and also the Nether Fortress. All right, so the Mechanized Saw Blade is part of the Broken Saw Blade family. This one has a built-in continuous attack enchantment. This will pretty much allow you to continuously attack with the exact same amount of damage. And at the very end of this animation, your weapon will overheat. Good thing though, on the mechanized saw blade itself, you will have a long continuous attack, so this one will take a little bit more time before it overheats. It works very similar like the rapier, but it doesn't have a final hard hitting attack, it will always be exactly the same. The mechanized saw blade still glows from the fires of the nether where it was forged. I think the mechanized saw blade looks very awesome, I don't think it's the best weapon out there, but for aesthetics it definitely deserves a 10 to 10. All right, so let's check it out on the target dummy. So if we click and hold our attack animation, you can see that it will always deal exactly the same amount of damage. And at the very end, it will overheat. So then we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we can use it again. Actually, you can use it quite fast after overheating. It only takes about one and a half or two seconds. Cool thing is though, you can fiddle around a little bit with the attack animation by quickly activating and deactivating it and then you will be able to pretty much spam enchantments, for example the swirling and shockwave, which I'm gonna put on this weapon right now. So this one only has a power level of 75, but thank god I found both of them on here, so uh, let's go for the maximum tier on both of them. So if we then spam click our attack, well it will look exactly like this. So yeah, you can definitely tell that this is quite powerful, but at the same time it is not overpowered because you can achieve the exact same effect with other fast hitting attack weapons like the fighter's bindings. If we equip this one with a death cap mushroom and hit the target dummy, you can tell that we can also proc the swirling and things like shockwave quite frequently without having to tire our fingers like crazy. Anyways, when we talk about enchantments on the mechanized saw blade, I think this shockwave is definitely going to be pretty interesting. The last attack in a combo launches a shockwave, damaging nearby enemies. Also, the swirling to hit enemies with a last attack in a combo, performing a swirling attack to damage all the nearby enemies. Then I also have a rare variant of broken saw blade right here with some pretty interesting enchantments, for example the stunning. Chance to temporarily stun enemies on hit, has a 50% chance on the tier 3 and because you already attack very quickly, you will be able to pretty much stun lock your enemies. As healing enchantment, I think Radiance is definitely the numero uno for this bad boy because it has a 20% chance to spawn this circular area which will heal all allies within it and because you attack pretty fast well, you will be able to proc this quite often. Exactly the same with critical hit, because on the tier 3 you have a 20% chance to trigger it, well, you will be able to crit quite often as well. As you can see, the radius pops up quite frequently as well as the critical hits, but yes, the broken saw blade for Ryan will also overheat quite quickly. Things like leeching won't be as interesting as you won't be able to take down mobs very quickly, exactly the same with exploding, because all these enchantments will only have effect after defeating a mob. You could also work with something like gravity to use this weapon pretty much as a vacuum cleaner, but at the same time, it has a pretty small reach, so it won't be as effective in comparison with larger range weapons. So in general, I think the mechanized saw blade is a smashing good time. You will have a lot of fun fiddling around a little bit with the shockwave and the swirling, but at the same time, it won't perform very well on the highest apocalypse plus difficulties as you will constantly have the weapon overheating, which pretty much results in downtime for your melee attack. So this is very dangerous if you're playing on that higher difficulty. All right, so guys, there you have it. Everything you need to know about this awesome new unique. Now you know where to find it and which enchantments you should focus on when going for that ultimate build. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second and subscribe for more because there is so much more Minecraft Dungeons on the channel and coming your way. 
Also, make sure to check out my Discord, which is in the description. Our community is growing like crazy right there, so trade items, team up with others, take part in events like giveaway contests, and so much more. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Right now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care.